Everybody ready? We good? Everybody on set? Can I get last? Can I get hair and makeup? Just. What's up guys, my name is Marcel, welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. If you follow me on Instagram, at Marcel Flores, then you may have seen my shout out recently, asking you guys to submit your favorite looks so I can review them today. And that is what I'm here to do today. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this is my personal opinion. Style is very, very much a subjective thing, so I'm gonna try and be as critical as possible. I'm gonna try and tell you what I would do if I were you, how I would maybe switch some things up, what I like and what I don't like. Please don't take it to heart. Well, you can take it to heart if you want to, but please just don't take it personal if I criticize your outfit in a way that you may have not anticipated. Big disclaimer. Without further ado, no particular order, I'm gonna try and get through as many as I can because you guys literally submitted dozens, if not hundreds. First up, underscore basics, 2018. Um, we got, there we go. We got a navy trucker jacket with a, a linen shirt, black skinny jeans, and gray suede derbies. I love this look. I think the, the shoes are something I don't personally love so much. I would go for something that has a little bit more of a welt, so like a wider sole. Um, otherwise, Pretty freaking solid, I like it. You, can, you guys know I like skinny jeans, so I, I, I like this a lot. Next up, camps underscore corner. Um, we got earth tones, love earth tones. I actually love this look a lot. I love what he did here with the styling of the shirt above the hoodie, then with the beanie. The one thing I would probably switch up is the boots. Not the color, not the fact that they're boots. I just don't particularly love those boots in this photo. Next up, Paprik 98 in all black with a white t-shirt. This is a dope look. I, I wish I could see a little bit better, but I love the silk handkerchief around the, probably through the belt loop. Um, super dope. The beanie looks great, the shades look great. It's a really sleek all black look with a white base. Love it. Next up, we got Wesley Salad, <laughs> Wesley Salad Bar underscore nerd. <laughs> I like the base of this look. I think it's a lot about the, the fit of the pants. If you went for something a little bit more slim, I think it would tie the look together a lot more and then finish it off with a pair of boots maybe, black boots. I think that will make the world of a difference. The sneakers, I've had them, the free ones I think. Super comfortable with this look. If you're going with, with an argyle plaid and with a, with a hat, it's so, you know, um, Peaky Blinders vibes-ish, like British. I think you should go with footwear that resembles that. Then we got Garrison Herbst, I actually bumped into him in this outfit. I like the look, I think he could have a, maybe a tiny bit more room in the suit jacket, but otherwise a black, black suit with a printed shirt, great. And then we don't really see the shoes here, I think he was wearing black sneakers, but Garrison. Uh, next up, Louis Fresco. Louis Fresco sent through a look combining a denim jacket with black chinos, I believe, a sweatshirt and pink. Sneakers, I love the combination. I love that you picked up the pink in the sweatshirt with the shoes. I think that looks great. Maybe I would I would size down on the on the denim jacket. It looks a little bit too big for like the otherwise fairly slim and sleek look. And I would maybe play the, the black I don't love so much. Uh, the, the rest of the look is very like, it's lighter, so I don't love the contrast so much. I would maybe go with uh, with a with a darker jean. Then you have a little bit of a Canadian tux going on, so I don't, I don't know, but the, I would probably switch out the jeans, uh, chinos. Then we got I'm Mr. Chuck. I'm Mr. Chuck sent through a camo bomber jacket over a white button down with slim dark wash jeans and Chelsea boots. I like this look. I personally am not a big fan of camo, gonna be honest. So I would probably not wear this. Otherwise, I think the, the jeans fit great. Um, I really like the glasses overall hairstyle. It's like, it's looking really proper. It's a personal, personal taste thing. Like I just don't love camo. Uh, I think the I think the Chelsea's, I think you can maybe upgrade your Chelsea's. Um, they're a little bit, they look a little bit too casual for me. That's it. Uh, next up, Bikash underscore Ramali underscore MGR. Sending through a suit and tie look. Uh, it's an interesting cut, it's a three button jacket. Um, few things, one I think the tie is too long. Uh, the, the cut of the jacket, I think I like. It's a, the, the edged corner instead of the rounded out. I think it's a cool move. Uh, I would maybe, if you have something that's a little bit more, I don't know if that's a, a, like more of a cultural thing um, or if it's a fashion forward thing. If it's a fashion forward thing, drop the belt. Um, maybe slim down the pants even a little bit more to really accentuate that you're going for a fashion move here. Then we got Jivitajain underscore. Sorry if I butchered that. And we got a simple summer look. He's got a little hat on, um, reflective shades, round shape. I love the shade. I love the shape of the shades. A yellow sweater, 
thrown over the shoulders of a white t-shirt and shorts with espadrilles. I think the shorts can be a little bit more slim. They look a little bit too relaxed, too baggy for me. Um, otherwise, I, I, I don't do color color that much, so I would personally probably not go for the yellow sweater, but I think you're, you're pulling it off uh, in your own way. The I think I would like to see a little bit more of a difference between the espadrilles and the shorts as well. The pattern is kind of similar, which makes the espadrilles just look really washed out in comparison. Um, so I think, I think the general approach is great. Then we got I am Darius Stefan, um, sending through a photo of him shopping in a sick, long blue, like Arctic parka. That's all I can really see in this photo. That looks dope. Uh, yay. <laughs> Then we got Sahil Sharma. Sahil Sharma sent through a leather moto jacket with uh, Adidas kicks and slim gray jeans and a white, uh, a black t-shirt. I think with the Adidas kicks, I would probably have gone for something like a bomber jacket, something a little bit more casual. The moto, like if I cover the lower part, it works, but I'm expecting boots. If I cover the, up, uh, if I cover the upper part, I expect something more sporty. So uh, I personally am more of a fan of biker jackets than of moto jackets, but that's up to you guys to decide what you like. That's my feedback. Then we got Otis Glenn, and I love this look. Man, that's great. Uh, we got a Bordeaux beanie, beautiful specs, a camel overcoat over a white sweater, white off-white, blue jeans, and oxblood Doc Martin 1460s. That This is great, I love this. I, I, I need to check out your Instagram, that looks great. Then we got naps.fancy. Um, he didn't send a photo through of the whole look, but we got a denim jacket with a white t-shirt and chinos. It's super simple. I like the denim jacket. I uh, like the little patch. I, I don't have much to say about this just because it's a very safe look. Then we got NTN underscore BHRGV22. Sending through pleated pants with, uh, I don't know what those sneakers are. I like them. They're, they're very fashion forward sneaker. An achromatic combination with a black sweater, a gray overcoat and the pleated pants. I like, I like this look. I, I wish this photo, I wish I could see a little bit more what everything looks like in this post. I can't really see it, but I think, uh, I think it looks great. Uh, tucking in the sweater to show off the pleats, I think is a good move. Um, yeah. Then we got wow underscore so underscore fast. <laughs> That's a way to, to, to take the edge off. <laughs> um, wearing, a, wearing a blue suit with a Bordeaux turtleneck and brown boots, up until that point, sick. I don't like a black coat with brown boots unless you're going all black with brown. I don't think black and brown are mutually exclusive. In this way, uh, in, in this instance, I think, I think you should have gone for either a navy coat um, or like a gray coat. Just not not black. Otherwise, looks looks great, man. Hope you had a wonderful evening. Looks awesome. Next up, Kilo Seth, sending through a black blazer with a dark gray turtleneck. Uh, I, I thought it was a necklace out, out underneath this uh, under, on the turtleneck. I would have liked that. That would be cool. Um, but it's just it's just a light. Still cool. I like the look. Um, it's simple. I think I've told you that I've told you that a few times on my channel. Like if you keep it simple in terms of color, there's little you can do wrong. From what I can tell uh, with this photo, like the black chinos or jeans fit fairly well, and it looks like they're black suede derbies. Solid look, works for me. Then we got life off dot Pratic. probably Patrick, but a little play on not words but letters. <laughs> Again with the camo, I like this camo a little bit more because it's more subdued. Um, I think that's awesome. Then we got ripped jeans. Uh, I don't love the sneakers, gonna be honest. I, if I see it correctly, they're, they're denim and, and the white sole. I used to like those. I just think like a clean white sneaker works better for me. Otherwise, I like this look. The fit looks great. Couple pockets, well done. Then we got not underscore V track. This is dope. I, I wish I could see, man. I, next time we do this, you guys send me through full length photos and you send them to me so I can look at them again. A couple of the looks that you guys sent through I can't use because I forgot, like I couldn't screenshot it or I couldn't open it again. Please send me the photo in my DM so I can look at it again and again. Thank you. Um, love the striped short sleeve shirt. Uh, picking it up with the bandana looks dope. Uh, even this backpack is great with a faded pair of jeans. Awesome, I love this. So what I can see, I love. Then we got Vinny with three ends. Um, Vinny's wearing a lot of color, which is great. I'm not, like I said before, I'm not the biggest on like loud colors. I think you're doing you and that's 
that's awesome. I, I personally don't love the the uh, the pink polo, but I think a polo with the short swim shorts, I think, if they're swim shorts, um, works great for me. I don't like uh, I don't like boat shoes. I, uh, you'll, you'll have a hard time finding uh, photos of me wearing boat shoes, except for like one pair that I had when I was 10, like 10 years ago, and that I wore a lot. But that's about it. Then we got Noel Batatun. I hope, Batatunde? I hope I, I'm doing it justice, buddy. Color, back to back. Uh, in this case, it's like a, in a windbreaker and it's a little bit of a retro vibe with the printed shirt and the faded jeans. Obviously, he's going for a look that's very much like your thing and I think you're owning it. Even with the hair, you're tying it in. It's definitely out there. Is it something I would wear? Probably not, but you guys know my style, like I just don't, uh, at this point I'm just a lot more classic with what I do, but I think it works for you. Maybe drop the belt. I feel like the belt bugs me a little bit because it's too classic for what you got going on. Brian, how much time you got? Do we need to wrap up soon? Uh, no, keep going. Keep going? Okay. Right. We'll do a few more. I, I, I'm like not even halfway through of what, of what I screenshot I, as I, I, missed, I missed them. Um, okay, we got Musano Visanel, Vicanel. In, oh cool, I like this. Uh, linen pants, relaxed linen pants with a, I, th I think I think you got inspired by one of my outfits because I feel like I've worn something like that in the past. You're wearing espadrilles with this. I think I, I had to style it with sneakers because I think the relaxed shirt with the relaxed pants was too much if you then also wear that. Maybe I would have seen, I would have liked to see some uh, um, sandals. I think that would have rounded it up, but more fabric, like the linen into the espadrille fabric is a little bit too much for me, but otherwise, nice summer look. Then we got vball.h. Um, again, not a full body look. I love what's happening here. Like gray and blue with a white base. He's got contact lenses and I think it looks sick. I, I like this a lot. I, I wish I could see the whole thing. Uh, one thing I don't love, I think, is the zipper on the jacket. I think I like more clean. I really want to see what shoes you wore with that. Next time, send me a full length. Then we got n underscore x underscores. Oh, sick. Yeah, so dope. Um, also not my style, but love this. With the patch, the patch jeans, the Chelsea boots, the hat, the shilling color jacket. This looks dope. Colors, color combination is awesome. The fit is great. Um, again, not 100% me, but I, I might consider rocking this just to like have a little bit of fun. Have a little bit of fun. I can still speak English even after talking a lot. Then we got Wish, Wish 0403. Super simple look, ripped jeans and the and the shirt. Uh, I I like the. I, I think I would go with different sneakers, man. I think I think the blue they're cool, but with this look, like throw a pair of Chelsea boots on and you got like you're taking your look to a whole another level. I think that'd be cool. I would like to see that. Um, otherwise, if you had like just a white T-shirt on and 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 I don't know maybe a cap or something, like either go for the the sport I think of the sneaker with the jeans or go for the long sleeve shirt with the um, with the jeans and then and then elevate it a little. Uh, okay, we're gonna do three more and then we're gonna wrap up. Vlad Nedel CO. It's really difficult because Instagram names you can't even see like when it's what, like Vlad Nedel CO? I don't know. Uh, what's up, man? You're wearing a, a gray hoodie and a denim jacket with, I, I think, somewhat relaxed jeans, if not chinos and vans. Um, Simple look. I think something like like a ripped jean would maybe give it a little bit more spice because uh, it's you're, you're keeping it fairly mellow in terms of color, lighter on the top and then dark on the bottom, which works. I think uh, maybe some uh, spice it up with some accessories, uh, maybe maybe a hat of sorts, some rings, a watch, or or maybe ripped jeans. I think uh, and a little bit more fitted, just on the lower half. My personal taste. You guys know that. Then we got Philip Rad. Uh, Philip Rad sent through a nice window pane blazer with a Mandarin collar shirt and uh, slim skinny jeans, Stan Smith sneakers. Uh, dope, I think. Maybe untuck the shirt because uh, the Mandarin collar shirt is already fairly casual. So are the sneakers. So depending on the length of the shirt, if it's a casual shirt, maybe untuck it. I think that could look cool. And last one for today Brennan underscore Rebenyuk. Remember I told you, don't send nudes. <laughs> he, said, he said nudes. <laughs> okay, okay, that one, I forgot that I wanted to include this one. Uh, we'll, we'll do one more. One, uh, and that's Kenny Tech. And I think this is in, where is this? This is in Germany? I think it might be. It's a sick look, it's dope. Like, I, I, I can take inspiration from that. I, that's a great one to end on, honestly. I think you did great um, combining the earth tones, like the, the caramel with the more soft caramel of the turtleneck 
and then the toe even to like tie in the naturals and have like the, the, the black lower half with the docks as the finish. Looks sick. I, I love this. I love this a whole lot. So, guys, that's uh, it for round number one. I, I didn't get, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to keep feedback as, as short as possible. I didn't get, like, I think halfway through of what, like, again, what I even screenshot. So, if you guys want a part two, now it's time. Let me know down below in the comment section uh, if we do a round two that gives all of you guys another opportunity to send through more looks and then I can proper prep next time. Let me know any feedback you have so I can implement it for the next video and I hope you liked this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and follow me on Instagram if you don't and you feel like you missed out because you don't. Avoid that in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with the next video. I hope, I hope you had fun today. Thank you guys. Bye, stay dapper.